All right, welcome back to the Super Channel. This is Super Pep. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to mod Cyberpunk 2077 from 2.1 to 2.12 HF. And to get started, you're gonna want to jump to this media fire link that I have right here. You want to copy all of that and step through it. So those of you want to be visual, you can get a visual representation how to handle all. So you want to copy that link. Once you copy it, you want to jump to this. You want to paste your link into that. Hit enter, and you want to hit download. Uh, Three point zero three gigabytes. So once you get that downloaded, I already have mine downloaded. So I'm going to jump over and open those up in your download folder. Once you get them opened up, you want to unpack all those so you know where they're at. Once you get them unpacked, install, open uh, the bottom one here is 2.10 to 2.11. Install it. Then you move up the line. You want to install this one. All right. Then, after you get that second one installed, then you want to jump up to the top. Install the top one. You're going from 2.12 to 2.12 HF. Once you get those installed, your game is successfully updated. Now, I went on and put a video on because I could not find the link to uh, get those updated files and, uh, and one of my buddies was uh, courteous enough to go ahead and jump through all the ads you had to get that from El Amigo's site but uh, they give you a, a straight download from it. Once you get those files, you get them installed, you got your game updated. Once your game is updated, you want to open Vortex Mods or Vortex Mod Manager. Once it gets uh, open, click on your mod uh, tab and you should have uh, your Cyberpunk already in there if you've already done that. Once you get that open, you just want to go through and add every mod you want. Um, there's no crazy way of um, going through and taking out a, a init lure file uh, auto exec lure and putting it in anywhere to make everything work everything kind of works like it should now if you're going to be getting any errors on uh, updating or putting any of these mods in you want to go and the mods that you put in now that when they updated this it was around February the 29th I want to say so you want to go and find your mods that you're trying to put in and make sure that those mods were released around that same date. Alright, once you get them all in, uh, on this one you're not going to want to have to put, um, on, on, it, it says you don't need Red 4 EXT, but in my case, I have had to put Red 4 EXT in. So. Uh, my mod list is uh, what you see here. You can pause it, see everything I got. All right. Once you get all that stuff in, go in and, and uh, put all your mods in and go ahead and play your game, man. Everything runs fine now. Um, if you have any issues or need any help uh, trying to get any of these in, um, if any of your mods don't go in, you're going to have to go and look at my video called the uh, the Red Mod Bypass. Now, once you get the Red Mod Bypass uh, tutorial completed, you shouldn't have any issues with uh, any mod that you have. There's only a couple of them that doesn't go in using the Vortex. Uh, you have to, uh, you just got to play with them and find out which ones work ones don't work because everybody don't use the same mods so uh, doing all this 
I hope y'all all paid attention. Um, if you skip through the video, that's fine. I don't care, man. Uh, it'd be nice for everybody to watch the complete whole thing. That way I get that watch time, but no biggie. Uh, just skip through and pick, pick and choose what parts you want. And I mean, you'll come back once you skip through the video and then uh, something don't work. You come back and watch the whole thing. If not, oh well. Just remember, Super Pep helped you out. Thanks. See you next video.